it's Naomi with Treasures by Naomi and today I'm kind of redoing a pour. Uh, last video was all about um, the four seasons and I started with the summer, no sorry, I started with the spring pour and it just came out to be more. So I've decided to make that the summer video and today we are going to be doing the spring pour. So keep watching and let's get pouring. Nice, beautiful, brand new white canvas. And I'm going to be taking actually the same exact colors, but I have thinned them out with some white. So what we have here is bright red, some very nice bright red diluted with some white. Now it's this nice soft rosy pink. Um, I still like the orange, yay, the orange. Now it's just this nice soft, lighter, more of a sherbet, sherbet, sherbet color. I like sherbet. Um, another yellow lightened up and blue so i'm hoping as i'm layering these colors in the cup that i layer them just right so that i can also get some greens and some purples in there to create this nice um, pastel spring color thing going on so that we can you know once it's dry and i'm able to embellish it a little bit more um it'll be more like a spring garden all right, so let us get to work. And now this time I'm gonna be doing what is called a dirty flip cup. And with that, uh, let me get a small cup here. We're just gonna do a small cup because it's a small canvas. And I'm also going to be adding a base to my canvas after I've actually, you, I know, you'll see. Um, <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to be adding white just to create that base and also so that I don't have to use as many of the colors so that it's still nice and light and airy and colorful. So first I am going to put a little bit of white in this. It's always good to start with a white. very little white and then I'm going to put in some yellow let's start with yellow so yellow blue And I'm just going to pour them into the middle so that as the colors are pouring in, they're mixing with each other at the same time. Here's some pink. And a little bit of orange. It's such a light orange. I love it. Alright. So, once again little bit of white very little bit of white yellow and as you can see some colors actually sink as they pour through blue try and pour this a little bit slower maybe so we can get that to sit on top a bit Get a nice little separation of color there. And then same thing with this rose. And then pour it in. And once again, a little bit of orange. It just looks like the colors of a baby blanket. I love it. Oh, 
sometimes the cup just looks as good as the painting does, right? All right, so now I'm just going to start putting whatever colors left I have in here without tipping the cups. Waste not, want not, and all that stuff, all that jazz. Not a whole lot of pink left, which is good because red seems to always seem, you know, take over. And I think because I diluted these with white, they're going to interact a little bit different. White is a very heavy paint, um, paint color or non color, and so it usually likes to sink, anyways. And because each of these were combined with it, I'm thinking that it's going to layer a lot differently. All right, so now here is the tricky part, the flip. So I'm gonna take my canvas, I'm going to put it over my cup, and then flip it, without <laughs> crushing it, of course. My cup seemed to be a little bit on the light side. <laughs> Some spilled out, that's okay. It still works. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this white down as a base. Try and get around the edges. And that uses the rest of my white, which is fine. There's a lot of paint in that cup. Put my lid back on. And here is my favorite part, the tilt. Let's spread some of this around. Yes, some colors are leaking. That is okay. It kind of gives me a glimpse of what the colors might look like now that they're going. Okay. Are we ready for the magic? Are we ready to see what heavenly colors and swirls get created. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. I have purples. I have greens. Let's try and get some of these on the corners. Ooh, and even the cup's kind of pretty. I don't know if you can see that. But, oh. It's like a rainbow sherbet in there. Let's get some of that on the corners here. Gonna just let that sit and do its thing. Put that to the side. I'm going to get my handy dandy torch and try and torch this up a little bit. bubbles gone. Ooh, look at that spackle. Ooh, loving. And what's the one thing I haven't done yet, people? Gloves. Gloves before I tilt. Do not forget gloves. I just got the last painting paint out from underneath my nails. <laughs> so I don't, I don't really want to add more to it. Gloves. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am so ready. Tilting. Oh, I love it. These mini cells, and they're going to stretch out a little bit as I continue to stretch the painting. I don't know if you can hear this, but my cat is crying. Now tell me, this doesn't look more like spring. Oh, I'm so loving this, you guys. Oh, there's a lot of paint on here. It's weighing down the middle. Let's try and make these happy without losing too much. Oh, I got all this lacing happening. It's like magic. 
Oh, look at that. Now, FYI, dirty pours are my favorite. Dirty flip cups, usually not so much. Um, a lot of times the colors swirl too much for my liking and I end up just looking, it looks like mud. But today, because I think the colors were so light to begin with, I really think that helped add to the colors on here. Let me check all my sides. Oh, you guys, I am loving this. Very much loving this. It just really, I almost want to say it looks like it needs to go into a baby's room. But, however, this is a seasonal pour. I think it also works great for spring. And I'm really loving, um, I don't, I'm sure I talked to you guys about lacing before. Kind of looks, you know, like lace or, um, Spiderwebs type of type of look and um, I don't want to drip anything but some of this right here and right in the middle right here that right even maybe a little bit there but this is called like lacing you can just see it you know being like lace and I do have some mini air bubbles but I really don't want to touch those. I kind of want those, I think I want those to go on their own. Um, I don't want a lot of mini cells or spackling, but I think this will look amazing once I add the embellishment that I have planned. And so let me clean up a little bit, let this sit for a bit, do its little move magic and We'll be right back for the close-up, of course. Okay, so I've let the painting sit for a bit. Um, let's go ahead and take a closer look. I'm trying to block the spotlight. I'm sorry. Um, this corner is really awesome. I really love that yellow lacing. Upper right hand, same thing, red and blue. I'm totally digging this middle area right here. Right, right here. That is so cool. Upper left, I have some of those little air bubbles. They look like they popped a little bit. Got some red coming in, a lot more cell action. And then down here, if I could get it focused, it like it's like a little Mod Podge yellow and rainbowy. All right, so if I take the color, the shade off, those colors are absolutely so divine. I'm huge on color. I love it, love it, love it. And I can't wait for this to dry to see all those gorgeous pastels popping out. Sorry about my focusing, don't know what's going on. Anyways, that was fun. All right, well that was the spring pour. I hope you loved it as much as I did. I can't wait to see the finished product and get to embellish it a little bit, just add a little bit of flair. Uh, please check me out on social media. I am available on Facebook and Instagram as well as Patreon, I am currently offering subscription boxes. That's right, art in a box. So uh, I have a few options, so please check out the link below, see what I'm offering in my subscription boxes, and see you next time.